putting up 50 points on an FCS opponent a week ago doesn't seem that impressive. When you do it a week following against one of the perennial teams of the ACC, teams are going to take notice. And the Wildcats were hitting on all cylinders this Saturday. You, know, you tr try diligently not to ever give young people in the program an opportunity to become satisfied. Last week, uh, you know, and maybe it was fortunate that we got off to such a slow start, but, you know, I think maybe that might have, you know, hit an impact as well. Credit the execution of the guys up front, guys downfield, you know, again, turning two, three, five-yard plays into ten, ten-yard plays, and that's, it's a collective effort. We made some improvement, but we're, we're still working on it. We all the same team from last year, and you know we all got, we all got more confidence, and and you know we know what we're capable of doing. We just gotta go out and just just do it. And the Wildcats were just as relentless on defense, holding the Canes to six points until the final drive in the fourth quarter. You know, defensively, I thought I was uh, I was pleased. I think we held them to something like 40, 40 some odd yards as far as rushing is concerned. Uh, overall, you know, I thought we. Uh, we improved defensively. I was I was pleased with uh, the progress that we made. We were just out there, just hungry as a defense. Say the truth, we wanted to go out there and make a statement. We had our starting defense had to have a touchdown scored in us in two weeks, and uh, we out there. We're just hungry. We're going to keep building off that and keep working hard. Yeah, honestly, it was just a you know it was just a, a final stance. You know, you know we definitely you know accept those challenges. You know on the goal line that really helped define what type of defense you are. And now the Cats will regroup as they get one more dress rehearsal at home next Saturday night against North Texas before beginning Big 12 play in Norman, Oklahoma, a place Kansas State hasn't won since 1997 in Manhattan. Kyle Haas, Time Warner Cable, Metro Sports.